If we don't root out the fraud, the tremendous and horrible fraud that's taken place in our 2020 election, we don't have a country anymore. So with the resolve and support of the American people, we will restore honesty and integrity to our elections, and we will restore trust in our system of government. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. When Donald Trump stands there and says the things he did yesterday. It is an assault on our democracy. It is something very different, and it is very, very dangerous. You hear Republicans in Georgia saying, people are threatening to kill us because of what the president is saying. Please stop. They are begging him, Harris, and he won't. All right. Uh, Trey, I'm going to come to you for uh, a response to what Maria is saying. Well, I mean, I, I think she's right. I mean, we, we have to be very mindful of the words that we use. Mr. President, can I ask you to respond to the comments by your attorney general who indicated he has not seen at this point any evidence of fraud enough to overturn the election results? Given that, why is now not the time to concede? Well, he hasn't done anything, so he hasn't looked. When he looks, he'll see the kind of evidence that right now you're seeing in the Georgia Senate, you know, they're going through hearings right now in Georgia, and they're finding tremendous volumes. So they haven't looked very hard, which is a disappointment, to be honest with you, because it's massive fraud. Uh, whether you go to Wisconsin, where we just filed a case, or Michigan, or if you look at what's happening in Georgia, as an example, or Pennsylvania, uh, if you look at uh, Nevada, which is moving along very rapidly, or Arizona, you saw those numbers come out yesterday. We found massive fraud, and in other states also. This is a probably the most fraudulent election that anyone's ever seen. Do you still have confidence in Bill Barr? Uh, ask me that in a number of weeks from now. Uh, they should be looking at all of this fraud. This is not civil. He thought it was civil. This is not civil. This is criminal stuff. This is very bad criminal stuff. So I just say this. Uh, we went through an election. At 10 o'clock, everybody said that was an easy victory for Trump. All of a sudden, the votes started disappearing, miraculously disappearing. We found much of it, but we found far more votes than we need in almost all of these states. And I think I can say in all of these states, far more votes than we need to win every one of them. And I want to just thank my team, because my team is doing an unbelievable job. And more importantly, I want to thank the 74 million-plus people that voted which Lou is the largest amount of people that a sitting president has ever had, 74 million plus. And because the level of, of uh, loyalty, I've never seen anything like it. All over the country, they know it was a fixed election. It was a rigged election. They know it, and I appreciate their support. Thank you Mr. all very president, much. Just The president from just moments ago inside the Oval Office after presenting that Presidential Medal of Freedom. You know, there was a point in that conversation, you saw it, we all did, Trey, where the president was asked about his current attorney general, Bill Barr, and whether or not he still had confidence in him. His answer was, ask him in a couple of weeks. What's going on there? Um, you know, I, I focus on what Bill Barr said, and I'm going based on memory. I don't have it written down, but he said to date, which means it could change tomorrow. But to date, I have not seen evidence. That's a really important word, Harris, evidence of widespread fraud. Now think back to what we talked about a few minutes ago. Whether it's a mistake or negligence or a miscalculation error, it's the same result. But Bill Barr is not an election auditor. I mean, the attorney general does not audit elections. He looks for...